from Am Gigi's I the only one that doesn't apparently. find that to be a, a, like an excuse? Like, like if you tell me like, 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 sorry, man, poker, you know, it's like, yeah. Okay. I don't care how you lost the money, asshole. I care that you borrowed money from me and now you don't have it to return, even though you said you were going to give it to me. Like, like, yeah. I don't like loaning people money in, in it, anyway. Like, it wouldn't like, be. I'm when, sorry, go ahead. If I was going to borrow money from someone, they would not have to come looking for that money when it was time to get it back to them. Like, like I would be hunting them down mm-hmm. to get them their money. Like, like, yes. mm-hmm. like, hey, we're in outstanding debt here. Um, mm-hmm. Let's get this settled up. I, I wouldn't like that. Meanwhile, like you, I've always seen the opposite when I've most of the time I've seen the opposite when I've loaned people money. Um, there's been a few times where I've loaned like, you know, two thousand dollars or something like that. And like. A month later, five hundred of it came in. A month later, a thousand of it came in, and then, and then the rest came in, like like that, that sort of thing. I love that. I love that. that like, like, oh, oh, coming back with five hundred the next month, I'm like, I know I'm getting it all. Like I, I'm happy. Take your time now. Like like, but I've also had people like, huh? Like yeah, the money that I gave you, the seventy five dollars that you remember. What? Huh? <laughs> when? What are you talking like, about? Dude, if you me? Let me play I'm, Law and Order, I'm, I'm feeling targeted that. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, Kyle. But like, I, I I saw the same thing you did, where it was like, well, it's a gambling problem, and it's like, okay, but if you replace that with like, no, no, you don't understand. Tom is like a severe alcoholic, and he spent all the money on the fanciest beer and the whatever the fuck. Or oh, he's addicted to cocaine, and he needed that that Colombian white, like. <laughs> immediately people would be like yeah that's bullshit he still stole but with gambling because it's not a physical substance it feels like there's a little extra leeway given to it almost no leeway i don't uh, care not, i don't care how i was meaning from the gone. public oh the pu- you mean to me though it doesn't i don't care how you spend it like it, yeah, if okay. it was like woody why'd you steal that money and be like yeah i really like buying things <laughs> you gotta see these knives i'm so <laughs> i like buying things a lot i like having new things nice things so i took your money yeah well that's yeah there we go. that's what i heard you know, like... <laughs> honesty goes a long way there Have well guys it's been uh... fun I, I gotta head out for the night but uh well, we y'all enjoy. thank you so much for coming on yeah, absolutely thank you. y'all take care yeah good night yep. see you yep. later good. see ya sorry what were you leading into kyle I think I was going to ask you if you'd ever loaned um, uh, some money to someone and then they didn't pay it back or had a hard time getting the money back. I think I've been fortunate enough to like hear from like friends of mine who got in sticky situations with lending family or friends money that I've never done it. But there was one time this was 20. When, when did they make weed legal in Colorado? 2014. Is that right? It sounds right. So like 20. 20- 14, 14, 15 around there. I, you know, heard from a cousin of mine at the time who I hadn't heard from in a while. He's a great guy, but I just hadn't heard from him in a while. And he was like, Hey, I got a business thing. I need like a thousand dollars. I totally understand if you can't, but I'll pay you back. And I was like, and at this time, like I'm, I'm, I was in Idaho. I was making no fucking money. And I was like, okay, what's it for? Like, Mm. I I really don't have a grand to just, like, be doling out right now. And he was like, well, they just legalized pot in Colorado. Mm. And so we've got a system with this, like, torn down car that I'm going to buy a thousand dollars worth of weed from all these different dispensaries, pack it into the doors of this this Civic, and then I'm going to drive it through kansas and missouri to like to somewhere else and we're gonna sell it there and i'll pay you back your your money once i've uh, done that and i was like man i'm gonna have to pass on this <laughs> like, like i'm getting involved in felonies like state lines like please as a I'm, favor to me taylor, don't mention this to me ever again in any capacity <laughs> taylor taylor you promised me you'd never tell that story <laughs> well, you've already served the time, so limitations and stuff. Well that is such both a ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, first of all, that's not even that big of a money making venture because dispensary prices are not like crazy low. Mm-hmm. Like, like if anything, it would be smart if you could like grow your weed there. Like, like have have a big crop that you harvested and then take that somewhere else. Like, maybe you could grow it mm-hmm. there safely, but. But like the idea of buying from dispensaries to sell somewhere else seems like, I don't know, you're making not making a lot of money. 
yeah I, I don't remember the the crux of like the deal maybe it was like i'm getting a huge amount from a friend of mine who owns a dispensary i don't once i heard the the business plan i yeah. was i was checked out yeah no thank you not not going to be involved in this yeah let so, me just throw you a thousand dollars in my fucking enterprise rent car money that i'm floating in clearly like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sticky word enterprise because we're going to need a lot of cars. We're going to need a lot of cars. Can you get us a deal? Can you put your employee code on the, on the, <laughs> on the fucking uh, Yukon that you're going to ruin on the way there? Discount. Right? Yeah. <laughs> good. Dude, I want to tell my story. So this guy wrote to me in the last year or two. I'm trying to anonymize it a whole bunch. And uh, he was like an acquaintance of mine that I used to see. I probably have seen him 15 times total. And we would talk, but not like hang or like, I didn't think we were particularly close. And he says, Matt, already he's calling me Matt, right? We're tight like this because all my good friends call me Matt. <laughs> uh, sadly, I'm stuck in a uh, state in America. My wife is not doing well. She's losing weight and she's at 97 pounds now. Currently, I'm full time uh, caregiving and it has me in a bind. Is there any chance you could spot me $200 until the first? I can return it as soon as our check hits. I don't ask this lightly. Full-time caregiving is killing me. We do Cash App, Venmo, Zelle. If you can help me, please let me know. And then he says goodbye. It's a weird spot for me, right? Everyone knows I have $200. Like, I, I could. Mm. But I barely know this guy. And I haven't talked to him in five years. And he reaches out and asks for $200. And I'm like, what is the, what is the even ethical thing to do? What am I supposed to do? Um... I don't know. Like, why don't you guys answer first? What would you do? Break him yeah. down an interest and payback plan. No, I'm good. Really? No. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> no I, I would just not respond. I haven't talked to this person in half a decade and they're coming to me asking for money. It's like, I would feel bad for them, but like, I'm, no, no, I'm but not going to get involved. I don't know. The anymore. reason I'm struggling to answer the question is like, I, I don't have a face to put, put it to, like in my life. Like, like if I had an individual, like, like there are people that could ask and i absolutely wouldn't then there are people that would ask and i'd be like it would be awkward and i'd probably just like lie or something or or be like what for or like talk it out more and then there's mm -hmm. people i would definitely just ignore like it, it really just depends on who it is what i did is i um i mentioned i have a friend he rented that beach house he's very wealthy much more so than me and uh I was like, dude, I need ethics advice. Like, this guy needs money. I have money, but we're not friends or anything. And it, he's just like hitting me up randomly asking for cash. What would you do? And uh, he's like, I read that message. It looked like he copied and pasted that to a lot of people. Hey, yeah. hey you know what? We did this already. Did we? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I wonder I, if we can, I wonder if I came up with the same conclusion the first time. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward to the end then. I apologize for anyone who's heard this before, but uh, I ended up not giving the money. He was like, you know, this is a copy paste. It's not really a about you. And but yeah, it's weird. To, if two hundred dollars really stretched me, it'd be easy to say no. That's what I noticed when you read it um, just then was when he listed like three or four different like ways to pay him. That's sketchy. Like, 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 I it was on. I only didn't mention it because, like, you were like, Oh, and this is a person he knew. Like, and, and then I'm like foggy about just how well they know each other. So it's, it, I don't know. But, like, if some, I, if I'm asking someone for some money in that initial message, is not the four odd different ways that I'll take <laughs> it, it. It's like, however, you can get the money to me is how I want the money. Like, like, I'm not going to be like, Yeah, the ways where you can't get it back and there's very little record. Like, like, so, hey, could you say crypto? He wasn't hacked, though, because he mentioned my name. He put his own name and I anonymized the name of his wife. Like I yeah. didn't include it, but he, he did. So it wasn't like, you know, some random. What's Nigerian. wrong with the wife? Uh, I'll tell you privately. Oh, shit. <laughs> you make it. Well, God damn it. Now you're pulling me back the other way. <laughs> if, if whatever's, <laughs> apparently, whatever's wrong with this guy's wife is so bad, it's unspeakable. So I'm like, so now I'm thinking, well, God damn, maybe they need the $200. It sounds like that, that like Hitler raped her in the face with a flamethrower or something. I don't know what happened, but it sounds awful. Look, if um, that's the case, give her the money. But it, he really should give her the money, shouldn't he? 
Yeah. yeah. Why stop at 200? I'm, 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 I should have introduced like, him to you, Taylor. If, if you really want to make an impact in these people's lives, that you're going to have to definitely break into the four or five figure range. Yeah. That yeah. that is also curious. Where it's like, I have a huge medical bill. I'm going to need two hundred dollars. Like, what is what's that for? The payback on the first implied to me he needed it to make ends meet. Like he had to buy food between now and mm-hmm. the first or something. Mm. Oh, they're eating good. I don't know. It's all insulin. <laughs> 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 yeah, he hasn't eaten in a fortnight. <laughs>